Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you might be. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Christ's atonement of the sins of the world. Now, we've all heard the term Christ. He takes away our sins of the world. And it's not very explanatory by the statement alone exactly what that means. And here is what I've come up with and what theologians and pastors and priests have come up with over the years, centuries. The atonement of the world's sins by Christ on the cross, of course, we'll go back to the original sin of Adam in the Garden of Eden and the snake in the Garden of Eden that Adam to bit, the, bit the apple, takes the apple, consumes it, and in turn creates the sin in the world that we have. So, by Christ being morally, ultimately good and sacrificed for his beliefs in his God, his Father Almighty, he is then in turn delivering us from our sins by our worship of him through his beliefs and teachings that if you believe in God, believe in Christ, believe in the Father Almighty and practice these teachings, you will be delivered from your sin. And without his initial starting point of his sacrifice on the cross for us, we would just simply be stuck with them. We wouldn't have a recourse to get rid of our sin since the Garden of Eden. It would have still been there. But in following, as I said before, Christ's teachings and understanding them, living them religiously in our daily lives, we can in turn wipe away the sin like in revelations wash away the tears and there will be no more death and you and i we will rise again on the last day amen